Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, today I'm going to go over a list of things I think you should pack uh, when you come to the Philippines and for that matter traveling to many different countries. Uh, number one obviously is a passport. Um, you'll need your passport to enter virtually any foreign country. Uh, even from the U.S. to Canada now you need a passport. If you're from many countries you can come to the Philippines without a visa and they will stamp your passport with their uh, with their visa stamp uh, and give you I think 28 29 days initially before you have to renew it your passport is extremely important you need to protect your passport I recommend that you make copies of your passport uh, the pages and the stamps that you get uh, and as well as your driver's license any other other IDs that you might have protect them uh, if you get water, if you get water damage to your passport and it smudges some of the information, it's probably invalid in most countries and you'll have to uh, go through a long process to get it uh, replaced. I recommend you use a Ziploc type bag to protect it from moisture and damage. Some of the things that you will bring will depend upon whether you're checking baggage where you have a larger allowance weight-wise and size-wise or if you're just taking carry-on items, obviously. Uh, but I do recommend that you carry on a pen with you because you are often asked to fill out forms when entering a foreign nation uh, before you depart the plane. Trips that I've made to the Philippines, I've had to fill out three forms. Uh, one was whether you were declaring anything, like do you have more than $10,000 U.S. cash? Are you carrying any illegal items, uh, illegal drugs, that type of thing. Second uh, form was uh, a medical form. Have you been to countries uh, that have like yellow fever, different types of things? Um, do you have you had any medical issues in the, uh, have you had any recent medical issues they're interested in that and the third one was a contact form uh, where are you going to be staying what's the contact information those three forms are turned in either before you get off the plane or at different stations uh, along the route in the airport I do recommend you bringing along enough cash to get you through at least the first month and preferably the first two months if you're going to be here be staying in a foreign country that long. Uh, the reason being, uh, there can be issues and problems using ATMs in foreign countries. Uh, you need to alert your banks and your credit card companies that you're going to be out of the country. I do know a number of people here that uh, alerted their banks, their credit card companies, they went to the ATM the first time they needed cash and their ATMs didn't work. Uh, they were rejected. They had to contact their bank and it, it took a few days to get that straight note so that they're ATMs would work and they could withdraw cash and a lot of times they revert back to their credit card which has very high fee uh, to use your credit card to draw cash out of an ATM machine. I also recommend that you keep your valuables, your cash in some type of secure uh, body wallet, something like this that has many different, several different pockets you can wear with your clothing. Uh, they have not, this one fits around my neck, fits inside my shirt. Uh, you, you can buy the uh, ones that fit underneath your your pants line. Um, they they are a little bit inconvenient in that you got to get in inside of your clothes to retrieve the items that you want. Uh, but it is a good safety device. There are a number of different items that uh, help you to secure your cash and some other items. And uh, one would be a belt that has a zipper compartment on the inside. Uh, some people have pockets sewn on the inside of uh, different clothing to carry items there. Now I heard many times before I come here that you don't need to bring many clothes because they're cheap here and uh, available. What I have found is that uh, sometimes it's difficult finding the clothes that you like, clothes in the sizes that you like. Sizes here are different. Uh, in the USA I wear a medium shirt generally. Uh, here I magically turned into extra large and uh, I pretty much have to try on everything that I purchase uh, because uh, it's the sizes because the sizes here are different uh, than back home. You will find many places in the Philippines and other countries uh, that uh, the things that you're used to having supplied to you are not supplied to you. For instance, toilet paper, uh, soap, and the paper towels to wipe your hands on in restrooms, in CRs, what we call comfort rooms here, are very rare. 
So I recommend you bring along some toilet paper, some paper towels, as well as some sanitary wipes. At least to get you by the first couple days until you can get to a store to purchase additional items. If you have particular uh, over-the-counter medicines uh, or medications, prescription drugs that you prefer to take, I recommend that you bring them with you. They may well be available here, but you may have some difficulty depending on where you're going to be in finding them. I had a uh, friend recently who was having trouble sleeping. He's, he's here for three months, and he finally went to a doctor to get a prescription for sleeping pills. Uh, I think he went to about six different pharmacies. None of them had the product in stock. And uh, they told him, well, go to, go to the pharmacy at the hospital. He went to do different hospitals. They didn't have the item in stock. He finally went to an eighth uh, pharmacy, and he finally found the product that he wanted. Now, keep in mind, different countries have different rules about what drugs you can bring into the country. And you need to do your due diligence. Uh, there's a lady in Egypt right now in jail, uh, facing life in prison, uh, possibly the death penalty, uh, because she brought her husband uh, some pain medication, prescription pain medication, uh, that is also used by uh, p people who manufacture illegal drugs to make, make some of those illegal drugs. And uh, they didn't believe her excuse. When I came here on my second trip, I brought uh, quite a few bottles of some of my favorite herbs that I take, for instance, Hawthorne, uh, and a couple of other items that I take, uh, and I didn't have any issues with that. Here in the Philippines, you'll find it's a one-pill economy, which means when you go to a drugstore, pharmacy, and they ask you how many you want, they mean literally how many you want, uh, because they sell pills one at a time. You will probably use a cell phone here. Texting is the, the big form of communication here. I recommend you bring a good phone from your country because you're familiar with it. It has to be a GSM, a world type phone that works on the GSM network is, is used in much of the world. Um, unlike Verizon, uh, you works on a CDM type net network. Most of the world works on a GSM type network. I bought a actually a Zen phone. This isn't it, but the, you can buy phones here or in the USA that are unlocked, so they're not locked to a carrier in the USA, and they have two SIM slots in it. And what that means is that here here in the Philippines, you're allowed to have two different numbers with two different companies on one phone at the same time and use them simultaneously. And uh, if you're going to be here for a while, I definitely recommend something like this. You can, you can get one for you can get a pretty good one for $200, or you can get, get one that suffices for even uh, probably 100 U.S. dollars. Another electronic item I recommend is a power brick. And uh, the one thing they do, a good, a good one that lasts a long time, is a bit heavy. And if you're working with a weight limit on your luggage, you may not want to carry one around. And it gets you by when you're, you don't have access to a power outlet. Another device I recommend is a universal adapter, a adapter for outlets, electrical outlets, and they will work in uh, most outlets in uh, the world. And uh, they've got the different types of different tra types of prongs for different countries' outlet type thing. And uh, I've used, had to use this a couple of times. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive and I uh, highly recommend you carrying one of those with you. Chargers for all of your electrical devices is another issue. Um, what I have found is most chargers are dual voltage now. My chargers for my cell phones, for my laptop, for my uh, tablet, all those were dual voltage. They would work on 110 and 220 voltage, so I had no trouble with that. I know one guy who brought a blender with him to the Philippines from the USA, and it was 110 voltage, would not work here. For him to buy a step-up uh, transformer uh, was going to cost him a lot of money, number one, and number two, it was huge uh, by the time he found one big enough to handle the power that the uh, blender needed. So uh, check your adapters, make sure they're dual voltage. One other item you might want to bring with you is some type of water filtration system, uh, as well as uh, water purification tablets. 
and they're relatively inexpensive and uh, small to carry. I bought a couple of, this one's called Survivor Filter, and a second one that I bought, Life Straw. Uh, the Life Straw is, is very highly rated, more expensive than the other one, and uh, obviously I would suggest that you get the highest quality. I haven't used either one of these yet, but I always carry them with me when I'm traveling. You may want to bring some type of padlock with you. Um, I carry one with me when I travel. I haven't had to use it, but what I've seen on other videos is that occasionally when you travel, uh, to secure your belongings in a locker or even a like a backpacker room, if you're going to rent that type of thing out, is that the way you secure the door is putting a padlock on the outside. That's just a brief list. Uh, uh, look forward to your comments with additional ideas. Uh, thank you for coming along. Please like, please share, and uh, please subscribe. Safe travels to you all, and we'll see you next time.